So, the application that we will see now of the optimal stopping problem is called the secretary problem. So, the secretary problem comprises of the following setting. So, we have a set of candidates, let us say we have n candidates. and they appear to us in a random order ok. They line up for an interview and they are appearing to us in a random order. We know that there is a ordering between the candidates in the sense of there is a preference ordering for us between the candidates that means there is a good uh, there is a good candidate and a bad candidate and there is a best candidate. What we want to do is we would like to get the best candidate by making an offer. Now, the dilemma is that we cannot interview all candidates and then decide whichever was the best. Any candidate that we do not make an offer to leaves the process and is lost to the uh, is lost to us. So, we have to make an offer then and there by looking at uh, uh, by looking at the candidate all right. So, the this is basically the uh, the optimal stopping that comes up in in a secretary problem. So, essentially candidates keep coming we need to decide when is it that we have seen a, a candidate uh, that is good enough or the op or where we think we have the maximum chance that this is in fact the best candidate ok. So, the because there is the the the, the option of, of hindsight or, or option of looking at all candidates is not available to us there is an element of of uh, there is an element of of exploring enough and then taking a call and finally, deciding that ok we have seen enough and then taking the choosing the best candidate. So, this is something that you will see comes up as part of this problem ok. So, so we have these n candidates ok, we have a way of comparing ok, we can compare, we can compare if candidate i is better than j ok. We can compare if candidate i is better than j, but we have no way of knowing if candidate i is in fact the best, but we cannot tell if i is the best amongst all candidates. So, this, this option is not available to us. So, what we want to do ok is maximize the probability of selecting the best candidate. the best, the best means the best in the entire lot, the best, the best candidate. All right. Now, what uh, the and as I said candidates that are not offered 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 uh, 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 that are not made uh, uh, that are not let us say made an offer made an offer leave the system. Okay. And cannot be interviewed again or cannot be considered again and cannot be be offered again. Alright, so let us see how we can model this uh, this problem as a 
uh, as an optimal stopping problem and a Markov decision process. So, the optimal stopping nature of this problem is very clear. The set of candidates is actually are appearing to us in a random order which means that if we just look at the what is the, uh, the sequence of candidates then that, that, that process is actually just a Markov, Markov chain. In fact, it is it is a it is a sequence of independent random variables one can think of it that way. So, what we are getting is a, is a, uh, is a, is a Markov chain which is evolving in the background. What we have to do is ask if should, should if we should intervene into this Markov chain by by quitting at some stage right. By quitting we mean that what it means is that here we are making an offer to the candidate we are saying okay here is here we are we are we are you are offering him a job and then you do not interview anyone any further. It means the Markov chain then shifts to the stopped state delta ok. So, it uh, uh, or or does not evolve any further while we continue to uh, 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 while we uh, while we continue to let candidates go by and and search further we 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 get. Uh, we may incur a cost maybe there is a cost to interview in the secretary problem actually the setting is simple there is no there is no cost for further interviews we, we assume that you know one can continue to interview with uh, with no uh, with no cost associated with it so so there is uh, and and uh, the terminal reward that we were that that was associated with it really depends on whether we actually have found the best candidate or not if we if at the end of all, uh, if we do not make an offer at all and the last candidate is not the best uh, amongst all then we get no reward because we wanted to find uh, we our goal was to maximize the probability of getting the uh, uh, the best candidate and we have we now know that that candidate is the last candidate if he is not the best amongst all then we know with probability 1 that we have not got the best candidate right. So, so in that case the la, uh, in that case we we uh, we get zero reward and on the other hand if we if the last candidate turns out to be the best of all that means it was well worth waiting for all these candidates then in that case we get a reward of unity that means the prob with probability 1 we have found the best candidate all right so there is no cost associated with interviewing further the candidates will appear in a random order and and if we quit at the right if we quit uh, at any time the, the reward that we get is equal to the probability that the, the candidate that we have quit on is, e is the best candidate all right. So, here is here is therefore uh, uh, here here are therefore uh, let us here is how we will write out the costs and the rewards ok. So, what we, we will do is uh, let us model this problem in the way we model the optimal stopping problem. Let us look at let us write the state space S dash which is the state space of the original uh, that is the state space of the background Markov chain. Now, this state space it consists of just two states in this particular problem. So, S dash consists of two states 0 and 1 here 0 uh, sorry 1 here 1 is the state that the current candidate is the best seen so far. So, 1 is the state that the current candidate is the best that you have seen so far ok. It could be uh, it, but it does not necessarily mean it is in fact the best candidate amongst all it is simply the one just simply denotes the state that the current candidate that you are viewing is the uh, best you have seen up until that time ok. And 0 is the state that a previous candidate was better ok. So, 0 is the state that a previous a previous candidate was better not necessarily the, the immediate previous, but some previous candidate was better that means the present candidate is certainly not the best you have seen so far that is what the state being in state 0 means. 
So, what we can so at any at any stage you have the decision maker or the interviewer has two options the, uh, the uh, you, you either make an offer at that stage in which case you would be quitting. So, the action at each stage is again uh, the actions in each state are again is So, the actions in each state are once again to continue or to quit by continuing it means that you continue the search you do not make an offer by quit it means that you stop the search and make an offer to the candidate that you that you are seeing that, uh, that you are seeing here ok. So, S, uh, S dash here is the uh, uh, S dash here is the original is the original state space which means in this case the state it is either 0 or 1 based on whether the current candidate is. Uh, is is the best seen so far or not all right and uh, delta remember is the stopped state it's the state in which the markov chain enters this is this fictitious additional state that we added is the state in which the markov chain enters after we quit okay all right so we get rewards in this problem only when we quit and there are no costs associated with the problem okay so no cost so it means that ct of s is equal to 0 for the for s in 0 comma 1 and for all times t. So, whatever be the time the uh, uh, and whatever be the state c t of s is equal to 0 ok all right. Now, the if if it so happens that we make an offer ok if it so happens that you make an offer to a candidate that is not the best you have seen so far ok. That means, you make an offer that means, you quit at a time when when the state was 0. If you quit at a time when the state is 0 then in that case you would have certainly not made an offer to a candidate who is not the best ok. That means, the offer the candidate that you have selected is certainly that means, with probability 1 not the best candidate. So, there is no chance that he could have because you know that there has been a better candidate before. So, there is no chance that he could have been the best in therefore, the reward in that case is 0 ok. So, R t of 0 is equal to 0 ok, R t of 0 is equal to 0 for all times less than n. So, when right. So, if you if you uh, if you make an offer to a sub to a candidate who, who is not the best seen so far no uh, you you do not get any reward at all all right. Now, if you on the other hand if if you make an offer to the best the candidate the best candidate you have seen so far not the best amongst all if you make the can an offer to a candidate uh, who is the best you have seen so far that means, you are in state 1 in that case this this particular this state 1 here. So, you make an offer in this state ok that means, you quit when the state is 1 in that case ok in the in that case you get a reward which is equal to the probability ok probability that the current candidate is the best amongst all. So, the, the reward that we get is the probability that the current candidate is, is the best amongst all ok. So, now what is this uh, what is this reward equal to let us calculate this particular quantity. So, what is R t R t of 1 ok. So, the uh, this the R t of 1 is simply the problem is the probability of uh, the that the best candidate amongst all is actually the is your uh, is is the is the teeth candidate is the candidate that you are presently seeing right. 
Now what is this particular, uh, what is this probability? Well this probability is, uh, we, it's, uh, you, can, you can calculate this in multiple different ways, but, uh, but think of it, uh, you can, one, one potential way in which you can think about this is to ask, okay, how many ways can you potentially arrange, uh, how many ways could you have po possibly seen, how many ways could you have possibly seen an, uh, a set of T candidates so far. So that becomes the number of ways of selecting T from a uh, T uh, uh, for a number of ways of selecting a subset of size T from a set of size N, okay. That is the denominator. And what is the numerator? Okay. The numerator is the number of ways of selecting uh, uh, a, the number of ways of selecting a subset that contains the best candidate, a number of ways of selecting a subset of size t that contains a, the best candidate, right. The number of ways of doing that is, well, what you do is you, uh, okay, so this is sort of selecting a subset of size T containing the best candidate. Now, how many ways can you select a subset of size T containing the best candidate? Well, the way to do that is to first select the best candidate and then select the remaining T minus 1 candidates out of N minus 1. So this the numerator here is simply N minus 1 choose T minus 1 and the denominator is the number of ways of selecting a subset of size T from a set of size N. So that here is T, uh, sorry, that here is n uh, n choose t, all right. And if you look at the, if you evaluate this ratio, this ratio turns out to be just t by n. Okay. So the number of ways in which you can get a re, uh, the, uh, so the reward that we get if we if we stop at the best candidate that we have seen so far at a time t is equal to t by n, all right? Okay. Now, let us look at, let us see what the transition, let us now see what the transition probabilities are, okay. The transition probabilities, that means that let us first see the transition probabilities of, let us first see the transition probabilities of the background Markov chain. Now let us recall our, uh, the terminal reward, the terminal reward for us was HT, remember HT, uh, the uh, sorry H here. The terminal reward is of, uh, if we stop at a state 0, then the terminal reward is 0. That means if you stop, uh, if, if, the, if, at the, if the final state is one where the best candidate you have seen so far is not the last one, okay. So the, the, you, you, the last one is, uh, is, there was a better candidate prior to that, which means you have, you have certainly missed the, uh, the best candidate in which case the reward is 0. Whereas if it so happens that the last candidate is the best you have seen so far, then in, in fact it means that the last candidate was indeed the best amongst all, which means in that case you, you get a reward of 1, okay. So that is, so with probability 1 you have found the best candidate, okay. Now what is the, so this completes the description of the rewards. Now let us write out the transition probabilities. The, let us write out the transition probabilities of the uncontrolled chain. So the probability of being in state J 
uh, when if uh, at the next time step if you are currently in state S. Now this probability here, so here J and S remember are in J comma S belong to S dash that means they are in 0 and 1. Okay. So, that means what we are asking is well if the if the current candidate if uh, so, so what we would be asking is well if S is either 0 or 1 that means uh, that means the current candidate is the best you have seen so far or not the best you have seen so far. What is the probability that the next candidate is the best you have seen so far or not the best you have seen so far. Right. So, let us calculate these uh, uh, calculate these uh, one by one now. The first thing to observe is actually if you look at P, G, P of J uh, uh, given P T of J given S, this particular probability is the probability of being in a state J if the current candidate that means probability of let us say B, uh, of that the next candidate is the best you have seen so far given the current candidate is the best you have seen so far or not the best you have seen so far. Right? Now, you notice that this probability actually is independent of S what whether the next candidate is the best amongst the full lot or not amongst not the best amongst the full lot is it does not depend on whether the whether our current candidate is the best amongst the lot or not right because candidates are sorted in a random order and they are, uh, and they are coming uh, coming to us in a random order so as a result of this this quantity here is simply pt of j so this really depends only on on the state j and does not depend on the state we are presently in. And what is this uh, uh, what is this pt of j? Well, here now we, this let us compute this for e, uh, for j equal to 0 and j equal to 1. So, so what is pt of 1? So, pt of 1 is the probability that the present that the next candidate okay, the candidate at time uh, at time t plus 1 is the best amongst all candidates you have seen so far. Okay. So, what is the what is that probability? Well, you uh, the, that pro, that probability is equal to where is is equal to the number of is 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 the following ratio right. It is equal to the number of ways number of ways of arranging T plus one candidates okay. this is in the denominator and in the numerator you have the number of you the, the T plus one candidate is the best you have seen so far right. So, which means that uh, the remaining remaining T candidates can be arranged in any random order ok. So, the number of ways of arranging T items. So, consequent this here is naturally T factorial divided by T plus 1 factorial and that let me write this T better this is T factorial divided by T plus 1 factorial and that is 1 by T plus 1. So, this is the probability that the uh, present candidate at time uh, at the, 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 this is the probability that the time the candidate at time T plus 1 is uh, is the best you have uh, the best you have seen so far okay what is the probability of pt of 0 okay. this is equal to 1 minus this so this is equal to simply t my t by t plus 1 so we can see we that in totality we can write it in this in the following way that pt of 1 given s is equal to 1 by t plus 1 and p t of 0 given s is equal to t by t plus 1 and this holds for all s in 0 and 1. Okay. So, with this uh, now we have all the elements written out for uh, for the optimal stopping problem uh, or for the secretary problem modeled as an optimal stopping problem or an MDP. 
we have the cost function, we have the transition probability uh, transition probabilities, we have the actions, the state spaces and so on. Okay. What we will do in the next part is solve this particular problem to the extent that we can. Okay. We will get an approximate solution that, uh, for, uh, for this particular problem and in that uh, in that we will make full use of, of our method of solving MDPs which is use of the Bellman equation.